Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be learning about uh, how to quickly switch between buffers, frames, and windows in Emacs using two packages called WinMove and FrameMove. They're super awesome and we'll get started. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and see you soon. When you're working with a lot of different files, you want to be able to switch between windows and frames very quickly. And one of the best ways to do that is with two packages called WinMove and FrameMove. Because if you have more than two or three windows open, Control X 5.2 takes forever to switch between one uh, frame. So uh, WinMove and FrameMove are, allow you to switch between windows and frames very quickly using the arrow keys or your home keys if you um, set it up that way. So let's go ahead and take a look at these packages and, and get them installed on our system. So if you head over to the WinMove page, you basically just copy and paste this two little two lines of code here, and you paste it into your Emacs file and save it. And then uh, we can refresh with Alt X eval hyphen buffer and otherwise you can just close out Emacs and restart it but now if you take a look at my cursor we can shift up and that will allow me to move into this one and then shift right shift left so you can now use the arrow keys to switch very quickly between your uh, windows so that's awesome Frame move is basically exactly like win move, but it works with frames. So let's go ahead and install that. And we're going to, I'm going to install it with Nelpa, so I don't need this require. At least I don't think I do. So I'm going to copy that and paste into my .emacs config. Save the configuration. And I'm going to install with Nelpa. So alt x, alt x package list packages, and then search for frame move, and i for install, oops, i for install x to run the installation, and then let's go back to our Emacs file and eval buffer. Okay, and now let's give it a try. So control X 5.2 to create a new buffer. And let's see here, let's give it a try. So yes, so it works. You can see it's switching um, the win frames this time. With, but it, it looks like it uses command by default. So, or well, on a Mac it would be command. I think, I'm not sure what it would be on Windows and Linux, it might be like a control or the Windows key or something, but just mess around and see what that is. But So now we can switch uh, both uh, Windows and frames by using the arrow keys. So shift arrows, shift an arrow for Windows and command or control or Windows or whatever for switching between Windows, I mean frames. If you prefer to have the shift and arrow keys help you switch between both frames and windows, then I recommend you use this integration code so you can integrate win move and frame move together to both use the same commands. So what will happen is the shift arrows will switch windows until there's no more windows. And then if, there, if there's a frame, in that direction, then it'll hop over to the new frame. So if you want to do that, we can just get rid of this frame move default bindings, and we'll put in this integration code. So set Q frame move hook into win move. So you're hooking them together. So let's go ahead and save that, and then refresh Emacs with Alt X eval hyphen buffer. And that just refreshes the Emacs config file but uh, let's, or the buffer that's open. 
So now let's give it a try. So control X five two, and let's do control X two. So we've got uh, multiple windows and buffers. So shift down, shift down and up works, and it doesn't work yet because there's one extra piece of code that you might need. So if you get errors for remove if not, then copy and paste this require line here. Oops, I don't know what happened there. Okay, so save that and eval buffer again. And now let's try it. So shift, now you can see that it switches both frames and buffers. So control X2, oops, control X3, control X3. So it's shifting, shift arrows will move both arrows, uh, both frames and windows. The last thing I want to show you is my favorite way to set up wind move and frame move together, and that's using Vim like key bindings where you use H, J, K, and L to move left, down, up, and right. It's basically just Vim if, where you can move left and right and up and down without taking your fingers off the home rows. So you can do that by, uh, by setting the default key bindings to the Vim equivalents. So I'm just going to paste the code to save time. But basically, global set key sets the um, the key command. So M is Alt. So in this case, it would be Alt H would be Win Move Left, Alt J down, Alt K up, Alt L would be right. And then because you're hooking in Frame Move to Win Move, then once there's no more windows, it will hop over to the next frame. So let's go ahead and give this a try. I'm going to save that, and then we'll refresh the Emacs config, eval buffer, and let's give it a try. So control X, five, two, to create a new frame, and then control X, two, control X, three, and let's give it a try. And so this is, it's not the shift and arrow keys anymore, it's alt and vim keys. So alt uh, L for right, J for down, K for up, and then all the way over, hopping over the uh, to a different frame, and you can see it works. So that is super awesome. And uh, yeah, so that's basically the my, my setup. Hey all you techno geeks, I hope you really enjoyed the video. Please give the video a like, leave a comment letting me know what you thought, and vit subscribe to the channel, and visit my website, truthseekers.io, where I'm trying to build a community of programmers and tech enthusiasts. I've got all sorts of stuff like learning to code challenges, tutorials on teaching you how to code, and a bunch of other stuff. So check it out and see what uh, what's there, what's cooking over there. So have fun, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your day.